Master Reddit, subscribe for more videos. What is an unbelievable true fact? Martin and Gary Kemp from Spandaya Ballet. Gary was born with only one kidney, he developed a condition which caused his kidney to fail. His younger brother Martin agreed to be a donor and it turned out on the scan that Martin had been born with three kidneys. Martin is a goddamn thief. It was a finder's keeper's deal. The older brother left it behind. When you get a kidney transplant, they usually just leave your original kidneys in your body and put the third kidney in your pelvis. My left kidney failed when I was like, 19. They left it in. I recently had a stomach cat scan, now 37, and they showed me my tiny shriveled kidney bean that was dead, known as a floating kidney, and my giant right kidney. They do leave them in. I hope I don't need a new one though ever. Hey want some beans? No thanks, I already got one inside. The most amazing fact I heard of this week is that Saturn's moon Titan has riverine valleys like Earth, except they are formed by flowing liquid methane. Of course, it also rains methane, but the drops are twice as large as rain on Earth and fall at a fifth of the speed. It also has volcanoes that spew a magma that is water and ammonia, and at 100 C has the same viscosity as molten rock. Slow falling huge raindrops are going to be occupying my imagination all day. It is possible for a professional mimic to forget his voice. This happened to a kid I knew in middle school in the 90s when Beavis and Butthead was popular. He got into the Beavis voice and stayed there for a long time. Even in classes and formal settings like that his voice was still Beavis trying to imitate a normal voice. It was sad and disconcerting. I feel like a dick but that's hilarious. Yoda and Miss Piggy were both voiced by the same person. I refuse to believe this. Yes. His name is Frank Oz. He's done a lot of Muppet voices. You can hear Grover in Yoda's voice too. Yoda lists him as one of his influences. The Greater Honey Guide is a bird that drops its eggs into other birds' nests. When born, the chick has two teeth at the end of its beak. It then uses that beak to destroy the other eggs, kill the other birds in the nest. So the mama bird returns to a war zone nest and basically has to raise the chick that slaughtered its babies. It loses the teeth like two days after being born. Birds are savage, no different than the very common cuckoo bird. It pushes out the other eggs once it hatches. For some reason, the tooth just seems more intense. The measles virus actually causes immunity amnesia, meaning your immune system has to relearn how to fight off viruses and bacteria you were previously immune to. Measles wipes out 11 to 73 percent of the antibodies your body uses to protect against viruses and bacteria. This can last for up to two to three years. One of the most amazing facts that highlights the importance of the measles vaccine. There is more fresh water contained in Loch Ness than in all rivers and lakes in England and Wales combined. It also has more monsters in it than all the lakes in England and Wales combined. In the early 1900s a wave of molasses rushed through the streets of Boston at 35 miles per hour killing 21 people. For decades later, locals said on hot summer days they could still smell molasses in the air. 20 years ago I had a freezer full of shrimp in a room above my garage. My son and his friends were playing pool up there on a hot summer day and unplugged the freezer to plug in a fan and left it that way. A couple of weeks later I was working on something in the garage and something vile dripped on my shoulder. On a humid day, I'll open the door and I can still smell the horror of the day that I had to remove 40 pounds of liquid shrimp from a freezer on a 98 degree day. Fucking hell, that much shrimp. Sad face. In the early 1800s, something similar happened in London, when 154,000 to 388,000 gallons of beer burst from a fermenting vat and flooded into the streets, killing eight people. Edit, the eight people in London's beer flood drowned. Five of them had been attending a funeral for a young boy when the flood happened, and one of those who drowned was the boy's mother. Can you imagine that? Your son dies, and then you drown in a flood of beer at his funeral? That was in October of 1814, in London, England. In 1875, in Dublin, Ireland, a whiskey distillery caught fire, sending burning whiskey pouring down the road in the Chamber Street fire. The flow was two feet wide, six inches deep, and ran for over 400 meters down the side of the street. Of over 5,000 barrels of whiskey and other spirits, only 61 barrels survived. 
That's when people died of intoxication, because people were scooping up the whiskey with their hands, hats, and boots. Even though a bunch of tenements caught fire, and a bunch of people were displaced, no one actually died from the fire, they all died from the copious amounts of whiskey they had been drinking like water. Some folks even rolled a few casks of whiskey into the river, during the fire, and later died from that when they pulled them out of the water, broached them, and drank themselves to death. Mythubsters buried a rotten pig like six feet into concrete and the stench was so bad that they actually had to dig it up and dispose of it in another way. I think they burned it I don't remember. The myth was about getting the scent of a dead person out of a car and being able to resell the Corvette. In the end, someone did buy the car, but it took a lot of expensive cleaning supplies to get about 90% of the stench out of the car, but you can't ever get 100% out of the car. When they buried the pigs it was to see if Sonar could still see them. I think it was the Jimmy Hoffa experiment. Australia exports sand and camels to the Middle East. Username checks out. Source confirmed. Is an Aussie male. If you are 25 years old, APX one third of all the humans that were alive at your birth, have died. You've made me sad. You hoped for two thirds? Penguins do have knees. Penguin skeletons are terrifying. Dude. You can't say things like that and not post it. There used to be a flying reptile that was as tall as a giraffe. The Quetzalcoatlus. How do you pronounce Quetzalcoatlus? By tying your tongue into a Windsor knot. A day on Mercury is longer than a year on Mercury. The time it takes to see a full cycle of sunrises is 176 Earth days. The time it takes to orbit the Sun is about half that. That's because it's tidally locked to the Sun though. Venus is cooler because its day is so slow you can outpace it by walking, and it rotates backwards compared to every other planet. Hyenas have such an aggressive and hormonal society that the females often grow pseudopenis. What exactly is a pseudopenis, asking for a friend? An extremely enlarged clitoris. It's more than just that. The whole vaginal canal extends outward. The males have to insert their penises into the female's pseudopenis, and the females have to give birth through it. Because of the abnormal shape of the canal, there's a very high mortality rate among a hyena births. One of the youngest person diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease was 31 years old and pregnant. She died less than two years after giving birth. And she is not the youngest case in the world. You can find cases of people getting diagnosed in their mid-late 20s. Very rare but it happens. Oldest woman to have gotten pregnant naturally and delivered was 59 years old. She got pregnant by surprise thinking she might have cancer. The youngest one was 5 years old. I have questions that I don't think I want to know the answer to, in relationship to a pregnant 5 year old. WTF. Trees have such intricate root systems that a tree low on one particular type of nutrient will acquire some from his neighbors and make up for it later. This is especially prevalent during the winter months when some trees don't have leaves and so need extra help from their evergreen friends. It's not the roots that can communicate with neighboring plants, but the mycorrhizae, symbiotic fungus that connects to the roots. For some plants, it increases the ability of roots to take up nutrients by up to 50 times, and can form networks for plants of different species to share nutrients, too. These mycorrhizal networks can stretch for miles, and are a near equivalent to a neural network of the soil. Vending machines kill more people than sharks a year. How do vending machines kill people? People stick their arms in the return, rocket from side to side and knock them over crushing themselves all for a free Mars bar. Oh, that makes more sense. Was overthinking along the lines of diabetes and heart disease. A pistol shrimp's claw can move at a speed of 97 km per hour. The speed of the snap is such that a bubble is created consisting of vacuum. The internal low pressure causes a water pulse that immobilizes prey with an associated noise of 218 decibels which is louder than a bullet, and reportedly a temperature of 4,800 degrees centigrade which is similar to the surface temperature of the sun, albeit over a very small area. That asphalt bitumen is actually in a constant liquid state so you are driving on a surface that has a viscosity level 1000x more than that of honey. Anyone who's left a dead car in an asphalt driveway for a year knows this. The pavement develops dents under the tires over time. I also remember finding pieces of asphalt as a kid and being able to tear them apart relatively easily. They always seem to be somewhat wet on the inside and that would fascinate me. 
At least one person has stayed in Space ISS since November 2000 making October 31st the last date all of humanity was on the Earth together. Wow! Every time you shuffle a deck of cards, chances are you have put them in an order never seen in the history of the universe. Okay this one fucked me up. In order for you to smell something, we have to breathe in particles of the source. So when you smell shit. Thanks for that. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to Master Reddit right now by clicking the subscribe button below this video.